All right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Like uh, for this afternoon, uh, I'm everywhere hot. And as it is hot, uh, I want to share this video showing and waiting to happen for this our continent, Africa. I am sensing that something very significant or something that looks like a revolution is about to happen. I want you people to listen to what this man, what this army colonel or army general is telling us. Me, I'm surprised too. I don't know, but I'm reading meaning to it. And I also want you to read meaning to it. Everybody on this planet, most especially in this our continent, our country, have something very important to impart into the society or to effect a change to our country. So I want you people to look into this matter. I want you people to watch this video. As you are watching this video, don't forget to like our page. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to share to your friends. Comment. Let us know what we are doing. Tell your friends about us. The militaries, they have the power. If the leader is not ready, the presidents, we are seeing them, they are always bringing us back, taking Africa back. If the soldiers are ready for Africa to be liberated, we will be liberated. If you check Mali, the soldier took over. Burkina soldier took over. Jinnet soldier took over. Niger soldier is taking over. So all these countries that are liberating themselves today, their soldiers wake up. And I'm even begging to Gambian soldiers should also wake up. Senegal soldiers, Ghanaian soldiers. If the Akufadu is not ready to walk, kick him out. Soldiers of Ghana, kick him out. This general army, the army general of Ghana, kick Akufadu out if he is not ready to liberate Ghana. Ghana have a resources that can benefit Ghana. America, how many American businesses do we have in Ghana? How many American companies, American businesses do we have in Ghana? If Ghana, America is ready to put sanction on Ghana, can Ghana, can, Ghana also can put sanction on American businesses? So if you, the American uh, Ghanaian soldiers, are seeing that Akufado is not ready to comply as Africa, take him out, as Mali did. Nigeria, the same thing. You have Bola Tinubu, who is an old man who is not even. I don't, sometimes I get, I wonder why. Is this a cost on Africa to always vote for all peoples who cannot even speak properly? Is this a cost on us? Do you know when someone is old, his brain looks like a child? We didn't, we don't know this. If you came to Europe when you have 60 years, you can never be a leader in Europe. They will pack you aside. Yeah, when you have 60 years, and Bola Tinibu is older than 60 years. Bola Tinibu is now going to 80. 80 years, if he didn't even have 80 years. How can Bola Tinibu rule that Nigeria? How do you expect Bola Tinibu is not even active? Someone who cannot even walk properly. Cannot speak properly. His brain is now not even thinking like a, uh, like a man. His brain is thinking like a child. He has a child brain right now. How do you expect? When I watch Bola Tinibu, sometimes I pity Nigeria. I say, no, no, no. Is this, is this true that this man is the president? Sometimes I, I, I drag with my brain that no, this man is not the president of Nigeria. Maybe it's just a news. It's just a fake news. But I don't believe this man is still the president of Nigeria. When you remove Buhari, who is all, who cannot even do nothing for himself, you go and put a man who is more older than Mohammed Buhari. And that made me pity. Do you think Bolatini will make Nigeria to be free? It's not possible. Nigerian militaries, plan. Plan. Do something. You are the peoples who we are waiting for. Come on. You are the people who we are... Nigeria have been suffering for so long in the hand of West. They have been pressing the neck of Nigeria. For Nigeria never to have a fresh air to breathe. It's a big pity. If the leader, you, come on, this leader is not a leader. I will not even say if the leader is not ready to comply because Bolatinibu can never comply. Nigeria didn't vote for Tinibu. 
I know my brother. I know. But I'm speaking to Nigerian soldiers. How many Nigerian soldiers are dying in the hand of terrorists, in the hand of kidnappers? The kidnappers and the terrorists, they have more weapons than Nigerian soldiers. They have more dangerous weapons than Nigerian soldiers. Trust me. How many Nigerian soldiers are dying in that bush? Sometimes I was watching so many videos about Nigerian soldiers in conflict with a terrorist group. A terrorist group was killing more Nigerian soldiers. So Nigerian soldiers, you are losing your soul for no reason. And you can never win against those terrorist groups. Because those terrorist groups have been sponsored by the West with the most dangerous weapons that you people never seen in your life. You can never fight against the terrorist group. You are just killing yourself. Stop fighting against the terrorists. Fight against the leader that is there. Bring him down. Let military man rule Nigeria. A young man, a young military general to rule Nigeria right now and let's take Nigeria to next level like Mali, like Burkina, like South Africa, like uh, 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 Malawi, like uh, Niger. We need military generals to become the leader right now in Africa since these old cargoes are not ready to comply with the African citizens.